can't really do reading groups, but what we can do is we can definitely do our literature. So today I'm going to read you a story, and then we're going to do like we normally do. This would be day one of our lesson with this story. So, my story today is called Hey Little Ant, and it's written by Philip and Hannah Hoos, and it's illustrated by Debbie Tilly, okay? Hey Little Ant. And you remember what this is called? That's right, the spine. And this is the front cover and back cover. Very good. And this is the title. You got it. All right. Hey, little ant. What's that page called? That's right. That's the title page. You got it. Hey, little ant. All right. The kid says... Hey, little ant down there in the crack. Can you hear me? Can you talk back? See my shoe? Can you see that? Well, now it's going to squish you flat. I don't know about that. The ant says, Oh, please, oh, please do not squish me. Change your mind and let me be. I'm on my way with a crumb of pie. Please, oh please, don't make me die. You can see the little ant right there. The kid says, Anyone knows that ants can't feel. You're so tiny, you don't look real. I'm so big and you're so small. I don't think it'll hurt at all. So you can barely see the ant down at the bottom right there. I guess that's the what how the boy looks to the ant, huh? Wow. Ooh. The ant says, but you are a giant, and giants know how it feels to be an ant. I'm sorry. Giants can't know how it feels to be an ant. Come down close. I think you'll see that you are very much like me. Kid says, are you crazy? Me, like you? I have a home and a family too. You're just a speck that runs around. No one would care if my foot came down. The ant says, oh, big friend, you are so wrong. My nest mates need me because I am strong. I dig our nest and feed baby ants too. I must not die beneath your shoe. But my mom says that ants are rude. They carry off our picnic food. They steal our chips and breadcrumbs too. It's good if I squish a crook like you. Now, today is visualize. So we're going to visualize. Now, did you notice I didn't show you the page I just read? So, the mom says that ants are rude. They carry off the picnic food. They steal our chips and breadcrumbs too. It's good if I squish a crook like you. All right, so now we're going to, um, you're going to want to get your journal if you have it, if you picked up your um, goodie bag. If you didn't, just use paper, but if you have this, Pause the video and get this out with a pencil. Okay? And what we're going to do for day one is we're going to um, draw that. So let me get this over. Get this back here. There we go. All right. And 
You can use you can use crayons this on this if you want to. Or you can use your pencil. Normally I draw with that kind of dark pencil thing. So that might be what you want to do. So alright. So they said it was a picnic. So a picnic is generally where. So let's see. I'm gonna draw. Well, obviously there's going to be land and grass, so I'm going to draw the grass. Lots of grass. And then we got our ant. So I'm going to draw. my aunt the antenna okay and then what did they say he's stealing food um, let's see if he's stealing food maybe it's something hmm maybe it's a cracker or something I don't know. Just draw something coming out of this mouth, okay? But then we have the mom who says it's rude. Ants are rude. So let's give her a puzzled face, yeah? You guys see that? Okay. And long, long hair. And then the boy was there too. So let's draw him a little smaller. And he's listening to his mom say the ants are rude. So let's draw ears so he's listening. Um, let's give him a happy face and short hair. Okay. All right. And now let's... Um, Let's label these. I'm just checking to see if you guys are being able to see that good enough. Okay. All right. So we have, who's this? That's right, the mom. So let's label mom. M, M right? Ah. Short O, right? Mmm. Yep. M again. Mom. Okay, and then we have the boy or the kid. Let's do kid because it has a K and K is our letter of the day. So we got K, K, I, 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 I. Short I. D, D. Kid. So we got the mom, we got the kid, and our main character of the story, right? Who doesn't want to die? That's Ant. So let's get that. Ah, 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 ah. Short A. Yeah. Mmm, 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 mmm. And. Go tap and tea. Ant. Okay. Very good. Good job. Well, now that we got that and we're visualizing the picture, I will show you the picture in the story. And we'll see. If it's what we look like. Yeah. That looks like a picnic, all right, doesn't it? I think their drawing's a little better than ours, but that's okay. I like the picnic blanket, that red and white. That's kind of cool. Look at this too. They say he says he's a crook. Look at the look at the look, he's a thief or something. He has that thing on his eyes. That's funny. Alright, let's finish the story. Ooh, carrying potato chips. 
Hey, I'm not a cook, kid. Read my lips. Sometimes ants need crumbs and chips. One little chip can feed my town. So please, don't make your shoe come down. Quite a bit of rhyming in this one. I like it. Ooh. All the kids' friends. Hmm. But all my friends squish ants each day. Squishing ants is a game we play. They're looking at me. They're listening too. They all say, I should squish you. Hmm. Oh. oh. Look at that. I can see you're big and strong. Decide for yourself what's right and wrong. If you were me and I were you, what would you want me to do? And if you look down here, the little the kid is the little one. And the ant's the big guy. That's kind of creepy, huh? It's a big ant. Oh. Ooh. That's his shoe coming down. Should the ant get squished? Should the ant go free? It's up to the kid, not up to me. We'll leave the kid with the raised up shoe. What do you think that kid should do? Wow, kind of leaves you hanging there. So do you think the kid squished the ant? Or didn't squish the ant? I don't know. Oh well. You have to decide if it's right or wrong to squish ants. All right, very good. That's a good story. All right. Um, how about another clue? Hmm, another clue to our Mr. Studio. Hmm. Okay, speaking of visualizing, you're going to have to visualize for this one, okay? Um, because you're going to have to picture our classroom, and you're going to picture the brown and the red and the blue and the green tables. Remember that? Yeah? All right. This mystery student sat at the blue table. I wonder who that could be. Okay. Third clue in a while. All right, uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do a writer's workshop. And so you're going to definitely need that journal or paper. Um, where'd that journal go? The journal from your, your goodie bag or paper for this. And I'll get this cleared off and we'll start, okay? All right, all right. Let's see if I can get my colors here and more organized here. We go. Okay, so today, um, you know what I was thinking is, since I don't know what you've been, if you've been writing stories, I've seen many of your pictures. Um, awesome, those are great. Uh, but writing, um, I think we should start with a character. And uh, I think, you know what, um, if you remember in that story, that ant was red when it was a giant, it was red. So I'm gonna draw, 